Hi, Tim Muckert here. In this video, we're going to set up Windows with Vim Plug so we can install plugins into Vim. Now, this is the non Windows subsystem for the Linux way. So I've installed GVim, I then made Vim part of the path um, so I can use Vim from the command prompt. Uh, if you want a video on how to do that, I'll have a video in the description on that. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open up a browser here and first thing we need to have is git installed so i'm going to do git scm for search and we have this git dash sem.com i'm going to go here and i want to go to the downloads and i want to download for windows and i have a 64 bit computer so i'm going to do that so i'm going to do 64 bit uh computer here Okay, once that downloads, I'm gonna to click to open the file. It's gonna ask me if I wanna make changes to my device and I'm gonna say yes. And then this uh, installation guide will come up. I'll click next, uh, next. I'm gonna keep all the stuff the same, next, next. Uh, use Vim, uh, that's what it has, sure, next. Let git decide, um, next. I'm going to do the recommended next, 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 uh, next, 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 and install. Okay, and I don't really need to view the release notes, so I'm just going to click finish. Okay, so I can get rid of that. Uh, next thing I'm going to search for is Vim plug. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And this is uh, github.com slash June gun slash Vim dash plug. If I scroll on down here, uh, and go to installation, I can click to expand this. And I'm installing for Vim on Windows. So I'm going to use PowerShell. So I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go here to my search and type in PowerShell. And I'm going to open it and paste. That's uh, going to give me a warning. Yes, I want to paste anyways. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to run through. Okay, so now we want to test this out. So we're going to open up uh, Vim here. And I'm going to do colon E uh, ampersand slash dot g vim rc go up here shift o to get to the line above and then i'll do call plug begin and call plug end i'm not going to put anything in between those i'm going to write i'm going to then source the file okay so no errors there so that's good now let's just try and install uh, a theme i'm not going to go ahead and install any major plugins just yet um, so let's pick a theme. Uh, so we'll do Vim themes as a search. And if I go to vimcolorschemes.com, uh, this website has a bunch of cool themes. I'm going to select the editor Vim. Um, and let's do the, well, Tokyo Night. That's an NVim theme. I'm not sure why that's there. Let's go down. Everyone does Groovebox, and so maybe we'll go down here a little bit more. Um, let's do Molokai. Okay. So I'm going to go here, visit Tomaser slash Molokai on GitHub. All I need is the last part of this. So I'm going to do control C, open my VimRC backup. Um, if I go here, I can make a comment with a double quote. So I can say, uh, these are uh, the following are themes. Okay. And then it automatically wants to give me another comment. But I'm going to type plug and then in between single quotes and I'm going to paste it in here, there, and then I'll escape, write, source the file, and then run plug install. And there we go. It's done that. So we're going to do colon Q. And now if I do colo, I think I should have it. Yep, I do. Molokai. So go over here to Molokai. 
And there we go. We've got the Molokai theme. So that was installing a plugin. So that's how you do it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.